Did you know that movement increases productivity? And that walking enhances creativity? We all know we should exercise, but if it were that easy, we'd all be doing it. I am not here to tell you to exercise more. I am here to talk to you about movement opportunities. I had a client, Michelle, hated exercise, didn't want to do it, didn't want to get sweaty. I gave her five five-minute opportunities she could do in a skirt between clients without getting sweaty. Every day she would text me, I got one opportunity in, I got five opportunities in today. Every day she was moving five to 25 minutes more than she normally would have. After two months, I got the best text that I've ever received, and it said, I think my butt's getting higher just from opportunities. The stuff works. Professional sitters, or people who sit six or more hours per day, are at a 40% increased risk for early death. For those of us who exercise, run in the morning, go to the gym at night, it doesn't make up for sitting all day. After 45 to 50 minutes, our glutes, or our butt muscles, which should be the strongest muscles in our body, start to forget how to contract or fire. What happens is it pulls in accessory muscles from the lower back, hamstrings, around the knees, ankles, hips. You may think you have weak knees, and you may think you have a bad back. But what you really have is a weak butt, a lazy butt. And that butt has glute amnesia. So how do we prevent glute amnesia? We find a trigger that we do consistently every day and create a movement opportunity right after. That opportunity is 30, 60, 90 seconds long, up to five minutes. I had a trigger, my litter box trigger. My cat's litter box was in the same closet as my pull-up chin-up bar. Every time my cat went, I did pull-ups and chin-ups. After a few years, my cat passed away, and I moved all my clothes into that closet. Now, I get ready in the morning, I get ready at night, and especially on laundry day, I am doing pull-ups and chin-ups. I started out only being able to do three. Now I do 13 to 15 at a time, and pull-ups are tough. Two of my clients use coffee brewing in the morning as their opportunity. About four minutes, one does a high-intensity Tabata set, the other one does lunges, squats, and counter push-ups. Another client takes her medication in the morning. She started out just doing a 20-second plank. Now she's up to 60 seconds. You do client calls every time. You do 15 desk push-ups. You check your email. Every time you do it, you do 30 squats. Find a trigger, create a movement opportunity. Another way to create an opportunity is to do walking meetings. They are not just good for your butt, they are good for your brain. Research has shown that meetings between two to three people walking increase creativity and collaboration. It also reduces real or perceived hierarchy from sitting across a desk from someone. Rules for walking meetings include ask the person first. You don't want them to show up in a three-piece suit or three-inch heels. Think about the weather. High noon, North Carolina, July, not a good time to walk. Also, make sure the area is safe. If you can't find anyone to walk with you, make your phone meetings walking. I hardly ever talk to a friend or family member without walking around my neighborhood. About half my business meetings that don't need to be in front of the computer, I'm walking. I let the person know, you might hear a little bit of traffic, I'm going to do this as a walking meeting, and about half the time they say that's a great idea, I'm going to do it too. Increase productivity by standing more, sitting less. Increase creativity by walking more, sitting less. Find a trigger, create a movement opportunity. Prevent glute amnesia. Because by doing this, we all might make our butts a little higher.